Hi Ken Park here, what's up and welcome in this new trick dip of the ball slide requested by AM Skater. First week we were filming in the North skate park, but a little technical problem. Anyway, we're back. What you need is not a flat bar. Surprisingly, I, I know that most of you will probably want to learn it on a flat bar. But what you first want to do is actually find a little box like this, middle cooping, and if it can be woody, it ease the whole process. Because believe it or not, boss slide is a hard trick. <laughs> Everybody told me that it was an easy one. Why are you lying? I'm partly, but I'm partly not at all. The thing is, compared to other slides, it might be one of the easiest. But if you're requesting the trick tip of the boss slide, I guess that you're a beginner. And then, it's a whole bunch of new sensation because nothing really compares the fact of sliding. It, it, it's entering a new world of sensation and because of that it might be hard at the beginning. So what you want to do at the beginning is just find this kind of box and just go perpendicular. I hope this is a word that exists in, in English. I don't know. And you just ollie on it. Just take your board and, and, and do an ollie and try to, to to find your balance, you know, to understand what's going on. To do the ball slide, there is really two tricks that you have to do, obviously the ollie. And front 180 will really, really help. The beginning starts kind of far from the box, so you will find your speed. Speed is the key when it comes to slide and grind. So, what you want to do is roll. But you don't want to be parallel. You really don't want to start your motion here parallel and try to do this. Because you're going to be way, way too much un unstable if you try to pop your trick like this. So actually, this is really the good angle. A little bit uh, staring at the box, but not too much. And around here, you're going to open your shoulders and try to do it. So now what's the foot positioning? I'm kind of doing a, a, a small 180, it's why I advise to learn the trick first. So you are putting your front foot here and your back foot around here. You don't need to put it in the pocket of the tail like your front 180, just around here, even a kind of a, a, a bit further because the, the further your, your feet are apart from each other, the more stable you are going to be. It's easier to manage your balance if you're like that than if you are right this board have to be kind of in the center you know around here and then your shoulders do everything remember you open it like this well then you look where you want to go out right there and you close your shoulders and go back a bit on your knee so you lower your center of gravity and avoid falling back or front and when you are around here, I know it's a mess, I'm moving the camera every single way. Got some kids on Amazon, actually should come today, so when I go home should be there, next triptych will be way better. So you are right here, and you are doing a, a direct hit from your shoulder like... Yes, if you don't have enough speed, you, there is a, a lot of probabilities that your back heel is going to hit here and it's going to stop you. But otherwise, once you mastered all those processes and understand all those motion, it's a very easy trick. I hope that, um, that helps you out and that you're going to make the trick. If you like the trick, um, do send me it. Do send me it. Send it to me at Ken Park Skate. That is my Instagram and I will repost you and do a shout out. If you have any other trick that you want me to see, just ask it in the comments. If you have any problem with the trick, I will be very happy to help you in the comment section if you want to see every, well or you understand it if you want anything a burger a fry just ask in the freaking comment section don't forget to subscribe i do a video every single thursday see you next thursday take care